Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me today for these few moments with our Good Shepherd on this Memorial Day. And for our reading, I'll read a portion of Psalm 105. Look to the Lord and his strength. Seek his face always. Remember the wonders he has done, his miracles and the judgments he pronounced. He remembers his covenant forever, the promise he made for a thousand generations. Well, Memorial Day is set aside to remember those who paid the ultimate price, they made the ultimate sacrifice for our freedoms, our service men and women who gave up their lives in defense of our freedoms. Unfortunately, with many people with uh, family picnics and vacations and outdoor projects and parades will be so caught up in those things that they really won't spend much time thinking about the meaning of this Memorial Day. And that's really too bad because the act of remembering helps us cherish something even more. It, it encourages us to participate and it strengthens us in our resolve to hold that which we remember as something very precious. Throughout the Bible, God always is instructing his people to stop and remember what he has done for them. In Psalm 105, the, the, the chapter that I read our verses from, really are a call to remember God's love, his protection, and his provision for his people throughout their existence. And now you and I, and as 21st century Christians, can add an even longer list of the things we ought to remember. But the key to rejoicing in those things is not remembering the good times that they are, but remembering or realizing that God remembers. God doesn't forget his people. He doesn't forget his promises. And no matter how hard the times may be or difficult the circumstances, we can be sure that God is remembering his covenant, his plan forever, the promises he made for a thousand generations. God always has our best interests in mind, and that's the plan that he's working out for us in our lives. Now, we often call our military personnel service men and women, and they are serving. And really, that ought to be the title that you and I as Christians happily carry as well, because we remember the service, the sacrifice that Jesus made to make us his children, and the sacrifice that has opened all of heaven up for us. And so, in love and in gratitude, as we remember what Christ has done for us, we serve, we sacrifice to glorify him and to help each other. And in that way, the freedom of the gospel is remembered and proclaimed. We pray. Dear Father, help me daily to look back at your faithfulness and praise you for being a God who remembers. Amen. Well, everyone, enjoy this Memorial Day, and I really encourage you to pause from all of your enjoyment and remember the ultimate sacrifice paid for you by Jesus.